Okay, today is Harry Potter world, and it's my sister's last night with us before she goes with her UK boyfriend, her British boyfriend. Harry Potter is gonna take all day. We had to wake up at 5.30 this morning to get ready, because we have to leave by eight to catch like a train, because it's not really in London, it's actually somewhere else. So it should be fun, and I'm probably gonna have to spend a lot of money today. I really have to say, I love it here. It's crazy, and you know what's really crazy too? is that there are, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna sit over here and put my camera like this. People were telling me before I came here that there were so many vegan restaurants and I'm like, all right, yeah, like, they're like, there's so many, there's so many, there's so many. They were not kidding, but like, what I need to explain to you or what I need to get across to you, I don't know what happened in this city, but every, it's not just that there's like a lot of vegan, all vegan restaurants, it's every single place every place it's marketed like it'll have on the menu loud and proud like v this is a vegan item every place that you go to and they will even have like on the outside of a place to bring people in entice people to come in it says like huge vegan across the thing it's every single restaurant there is vegan stuff even the high tea right you wouldn't expect high tea to have a full vegan spread with every tier was fully vegan. I don't know what happened here, but I love it. There, It is a fully, like, it's almost like vegan dominates. I don't know, it's just crazy. And everybody's ordering the vegan stuff. And even the Burger King here has the plant-based burger, obviously. It's not like the Impossible, I think it still is, but it's just not called the Impossible, but it's called plant-based burger. They have plant-based chicken nuggets and they have vegan cheese at the Burger King. So it's just like the craziest thing in the world, I'm telling you. You gotta love it. So anyway, that's what we're doing today.
goes her own way Like they don't give a damn girl And my God, she owns it So many heartbreaks Goes back to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you've seen her I know that you would believe it Cause I, I know that you'd want her to Everyone's taking their shot, but missing out on the cut. I think she knows that she drives them crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes them want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. Yeah, it's almost cruel, cause I want her to. Oh, yeah.
right guys, Harry Potter haul. We actually had, I think we had, I thought that was really fun. It was really fun. Like, I loved it. Yeah. And I recommend going, but we, we feel like you should go early if you're going to go. Oh, yeah. Because it got packed. Crazy. And when we went, it was like the perfect time. And when we left, it was the perfect time. So, all right. Everything I have is in here. Okay, I got the Harry Potter. I had to get the Harry Potter London tote. And then on the back, it says in gold. They had some other cool ones, but like the back was kind of weird. So it says, the wand chooses the wizard. You could totally make this on a cricket. <laughs> but... <laughs> I feel like six pounds was, I will say, and I feel like I never say this about theme parks, but I feel like it was decently priced. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like highway robbery. Mm -hmm. So first thing I got, because obviously I'm a Slytherin and I walked in today looking more Lucius Malfoy than ever because of freshly done hair. I got the Slytherin. I had to do it. And you guys met another American in line from Philadelphia. He was there by himself. Oh, to yeah. Talk about a life. Mm -hmm. He was there by himself just to go see Harry Potter and to take an in-club person Peloton class. No, no. Right? No, no, no. During, during COVID, he bought a Peloton and he did workouts at the, they had, somebody was doing a workout at that Warner, you know, Warner Brothers studio park. Uh -huh. So he was like, I have oh. to go. And he was wearing his prescription Harry Potter glasses with his. And he was wearing a scarf, and I was like, I gotta get was one. It Gandor? Well, I mean, he was wearing Gryffindor. Gryffindor. But okay, so anyway, I was wrong about that. He didn't even. <laughs> there was. He didn't even take a Peloton class. He just came here just for the Harry Potter, all the way from Philadelphia, <laughs> by himself. I need to do something like that in my lifetime. That's cool. A solo trip like that. So all right, let me show you what I got. I actually only spent eighty dollars, so like seventy bucks, seventy pounds. So I don't know how to convert anything, by the way, and everything is more expensive here. But I did get these magnets because I need more magnets at home. So I got Harry Potter, like, you know, exciting, he who must not be named, undesirable number one, you know, set. Then I got this one because I thought it was cute. Um, another magnet set right here. So yeah, pretty cute. $6.95. Then, because this was my favorite wand, but I didn't want to buy like an actual wand because I'm not going to use that, I did get a pen wand, and my favorite wand is Albus Dumbledore. So, obviously, I had to get that. And it also comes with a bookmark of Dumbledore. So, I felt like that was pretty cool. But, yes. Okay, then, um, what is this? I got a couple things that have been wrapped. This I got for Jarvis and for me because I said, Jar I texted Jarvis, I go, are you, like, what house are you at? I want to get you something. And he said he doesn't know, but he likes the color green. So I was like, whatever, that's my house, so I'll just get you a green mug. But these are kind of big, which I like. So it's the Slytherin mug, and it's got the Slytherin inside, and it's got ambition, cunning, and pride. And I felt like that was pretty cool. So that was really, that was pretty affordable. And they wrap it in this super cute, like, you know, like the Daily Profit paper. I'll show you the best one last. I got this one. This was only seven pounds because it was marked down. It was holiday. Christmas. And I have actually been looking for something like this. And like I said, it was marked down from 15. Like, that's why I'm saying it's good. It's pretty good price, isn't it? So anyway, it's... Um, 20 like a Christmas countdown advent calendar type thing so I feel like that'd be good good for vlogmas too and it has like Hedwig and it's just cute and it's Harry Potter theme so um, and Hogwarts and all that stuff so I've been looking for something like this and and it was on sale and it was just like time and place time and place you know all right finally this is like the last thing I got and it's the best and I saw it right at the end but can you imagine there was like a class there of kids, huge classes of kids like that probably went to like a private school or something. And I'm like, what an epic field trip. But like, they were kind of like, <laughs> they were in, like, they, they were in uniform. private school uniform, yeah, that, but it was, they looked. Like but they looked like Hogwarts students. They did. That's what was cool about it. I could you imagine going in that for your no. field trip? Finally, I got this mug. Wizarding World Harry Potter, but it says London. It's a London exclusive. And then on the back, look at all this. Deathly Hollows, 
all the good stuff the scar the um what's it called owl and then hogwarts but i just thought this was awesome and it says exclusive you should have got one of these i'm not gonna lie yeah my mom i have found out she's a uh, what oh I you're a gryffindor. gryffindor but we were telling her that she's probably a ravenclaw because she likes to read but Nerdy. They're like nerdy, yeah. Campbell, my sister is a Hufflepuff, she says. <laughs> Which I don't know why anyone would ever say that out loud. <laughs> Just joking. So all the Hufflepuffs, but not joking. <laughs> so anyway, it was really fun and it was like the perfect amount of time because they pick you up on the bus and then you're there for about five hours. So I feel like that's pretty good. It's big. And I just have to say, once again, like I, I keep saying it, I already, I was filming, you were not in the room yet, but the vegan is, it dominates. It's vegan options everywhere. Vegan hot dog, cheeseburgers, chili cheese fries, like everything at Harry Potter World. It's everywhere. It's, it's like, do, it dominates the universe and beyond here. I don't know. I kind of love it. I have to say, like, I think it's a little controversial, but I might even like the city better than New York. Because here's why. It makes sense, though. I don't think I would come here, like, because the travels to is really difficult to get over here. And, like, the jet lag was probably the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. It would make it not worth it. But it's got more, everything's vegan, which I love. It's classy. And it's gorgeous. Every street is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to navigate. Mm -hmm. what's not to love really you know so that was Harry Potter we loved it had fun yeah. and we I would go I personally would go back my mom said she probably wouldn't go back unless somebody needed to go yeah. I just but need to watch it again I, I need to I want to come back by myself no joking um <laughs> I want to read the books because I've not read the books but I want to read the I've seen all the movies but I want to read the books and then come back and what we wish we had would have done was the Harry Potter afternoon tea. Yeah. Which you need a reservation for, which we didn't. That's but we love afternoon tea. But the other thing is, we couldn't think of one other ser book series, movie series, with as dedicated a fan. It was... Yeah. They were everywhere. It's so cool. It was absolutely it packed. you want to be a part of it. But, okay, so the last movie was filmed in 2011. Mm -hmm. The movie was... Not even like the last book, right? Mm -hmm. Last movie, 2011. So what is that now? How many years? 12? Yeah. 12 years later and it's packed to the gills on a Tuesday? It's packed. On a Tuesday. In January. In January. It was cold. So I can't even imagine what that place looks like in summer because there's like a whole outdoor... But I have to say, my, some of my highlights, because I recommend, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you need to get your ass to London. Mm -hmm. Excuse my French. But you do, because the tour was pretty cool. Okay, whatever. The Great Hall was great. Gringotts? All of a sudden, you're like, okay, is the tour over? Like, you know, you go to a cafe or whatever, and then, you're like, then you go through Gringotts. Full Gringotts. Full thing. Like, I couldn't believe that they had built that. It was crazy. Then they had like this big dragon thing. It was crazy. That was cool. They have the whole Diagon Alley, which you can see if you go to Universal, but it's kind of different. It's a little bit different. I actually think that I like the one at Universal better than the, the Diagon Alley there. I have to be honest. Hmm. But everything, like so much stuff. If you really are curious about like the making of the movie, it's really about making of the movie. Mm -hmm. More, it's not really like. That? Yeah. It is. But you can't, but you're walking on the set that they You're walking on the set. At. It's that they crazy. filmed on it. I, uh, apparently, I don't know if that's... Well, we think so. We think, but it's really, really... It was awesome. I have to say it was awesome. So, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, we don't really have any concrete plans because my sister has now jet set off. We have no clue where she went. I'm just kidding. Um, we do know where she's going. But, um... Yeah, so she's, so now it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> and we have no plans for the rest of the, we're here for like, how long? We're here for three a long, days. three more? Well, three days, we have three full days of sightseeing and then we leave. 
Oh. On the fourth day. Oh, I thought we had more time than that even. Mm -mm. Okay, so we have three more days. So we have we have to do some high end shopping. Like we want to hit some high end shopping places and. We need to go back to the historical stuff because we didn't really get a close up. Well, I think tomorrow we're going to go to like Kensington Palace. Oh, no, not that. Buckingham. What is it called? Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Well, Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of it. I don't know what these things are. But my mom watches The Crown, which I, apparently I should have watched mm -hmm. before I got here because I don't know as much facts. Mm -hmm. But it makes it fun. It's a, and like the Harriet, you told me like. Oh my Son God, of Herods. Oh my God. Son of Herods was in the car with Princess Diana when and they were dating each other. Mm -hmm. And Her Herods is cra Herods is cra like crazy. It's, crazy. it's nuts. It's so anyway, that's it. That's my update. I'm just I'm not filming a lot during the day, <laughs> um, but we are having a blast and it's been kind of go 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 go. It's about to slow down. <laughs> it's about to wait. It's about to slow way down, but. Love my new scarf. I will try to incorporate it into my everyday wear from now on. And um, it was fun. So see you tomorrow.
I'm exhausted. I don't know what happened to me today, but <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a quick haul and do a recap of the day, as I do at the end of every day. It's actually only 5.53, <laughs> but I feel like I got hit by a train. <laughs> so, um, where did we go today? We went to Buckingham Palace today, which is very exciting. Huge tourist destination. I mean, it was packed with people. And it was funny because we actually got there right as they were doing the changing of the guard. So it was pretty cool. And we got some good photos and videos of that. And it was just rain. It was kind of rainy today, which is typical London. But it's freezing cold and raining. So we saw that. That was cool. And then we walked over to Westminster Abbey and went inside, which we were not sure if we wanted to do. But we went inside and they have like a digital tour. Just so everybody knows. Just save yourself. Don't take a video in there, okay? Because I got berated by a lady and it ruined my time. That actually ruined like the first 10 minutes of my trip of being here. <laughs> she was so rude. Like she couldn't even help herself. She couldn't even stop it. <laughs> she couldn't even stop herself from like just coming after me. So anyway, even though I saw a bunch of other people filming, but whatever. Okay, so anyway, you can take photos, but you can't take a video. I don't know, whatever. So, anyway, we went in there. It was pretty cool. But there's just a, there's a lot of dead people in there. Like, I didn't know that there was... I don't really know what it was, to be honest. But there was a lot of dead people. Like, tombs. It's so many people. And it's so... It's just everything here is so much older. It's just crazy. There's so much more history. So, they do a free... I mean, you have to pay to get in, but you, they do, like, a free audio tour. So you walk around with, like, headphones and everybody's walking around with headphones listening to stuff. Um, so that was kind of cool. And there's just a lot of different sections of the chapel. You kind of, like, when I picture, like, a church, I figure it's just kind of, like, the church where you walk in. And then there's, you know, that's pretty much it. But no, there's, like, a bunch of different areas. So we saw that. And then we walked over, we walked a lot today. I should check my, let me check my watch. Let's see how many steps we did. It says 14,000, but 6.8 miles. We burned 500 calories today. Just in like exercise calories. So that's good. But yeah, we walked a lot and then we walked over to Soho, which was cool. And we walked kind of like down the middle towards like Piccadilly Circus, I think. And we walked right down the middle. And then we went over to Soho, which is basically like a very similar... It's very similar, but ten times better than New York Soho. Because it's like cool and modern. There's all these like historic streets and they're cobblestone. And it's just got like a lot of festive. It's awesome. So we went down there. There's a lot of food restaurants and stuff. And the place we wanted to go to was called Club Mexicana. It was awesome. That was probably our favorite place that we've eaten. We got the fully loaded nachos. And so I had never been so hungry in my life. And I was like, oh my god, this is so good. And then we did get tacos. They were good, but they weren't as good as the nachos. And then after that, we went over to a bakery called something. It's on there. Cupcake and doilies. Or I don't know. Something like that. But it was also pretty good. Um, we haven't tried the cupcakes. We got little cupcakes. I'm telling you, every place has... If they don't have something vegan on the menu, like, I... I'd be surprised, like, every place has vegan stuff on the menu. So, I still want to try some vegan pastries, like, you know, croissant or scone. I mean, we tried scones already, but anyway, something like that. I still, I'm still looking for that, but, yeah, we just, we loved it. So, then we walked around, we went shopping. There's a huge department store called Liberty that everybody, it seemed like, had a bag to. It was kind of, it wasn't like Herod's, but it was. It was really nice and fancy. They had all, it was like everything was expensive. <laughs> like everything. But my mom did get something from Jones Road. Mm -hmm. So that was exciting. Um, I just was shocked. I mean, stuff is expensive and it's like, it's not worth it for me to buy stuff here unless it's an exclusive to London or I can't find it in the US or something because it's just so much more money. Like it's, for example, okay, I'll show you my shoes. They were 130 and it ended up costing me 160 US. That's a lot. <laughs> so, so then we went into the store called Arquette, which I don't know if that's what that is. If it's. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, can you look that up? See if it's. I don't know if it is or not, but it looks pretty cool. If it's like exclusive to UK or London or whatever. 
but I have been looking for, and I actually have them written down. And I said this in a video recently, I don't know if you remember. It would have been one of my recent videos, but I wrote it down in my notes app, which is pretty exciting. I put goal rewards, and at the bottom, I have New Balance 550s. I actually wrote this down, and I made this, wow. I made this, I don't know, a long time ago, okay? So I, I did write this down. So I found the New Balance 550s, and the day before I took a picture of a girl's outfit that I really liked, and it was kind of creepy, but I did it anyway, because I really liked the outfit, and she was wearing the New Balance 550s, and I'm like, I want those shoes so bad. I love the look of them, but I have not seen them at all in person. Like, it's, you cannot buy them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been looking for them for a long time, so I found them there. And they are in my size, and they're pretty fabulous. So these did cost me, they were 130 pounds, but they ended up costing me a lot more than that. So that's what I'm saying, like, I wouldn't have got them if I wasn't having such a problem finding them in the U.S., but they're pretty, they're pretty fabulous. I mean, these actually look better now. Look at these. Whoa. Wait, what? Ortho light? There's orthopedic soles in here. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Maybe that is <laughs> But it's kind of like... It's so, it's am a, I a grandparent? It's a Swedish Stockholm, like Stockholm, Sweden store. Arquette. Oh, Arquette is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was pretty It was pretty cool. And it was decently priced stuff. Everything else was. But they had these, and I'm like, oh my god, you're joking. I have to get those. Those are so awesome. And they're like in a great color, too. So there you go. There's the 550. So that's what I bought. I'm very, very, very excited about them. And... I am glad that I purchased them, although it did make me sick to my stomach that I was, it's like, it's just, I hate that it, everything costs more. Like, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's only five pounds, but it's like, no, it's not really five pounds. It's more for me. <laughs> but everywhere here has Apple Pay, everywhere here is vegan, everywhere here is like, it's pretty modern, actually. So I did get that. That's the only thing I got today. Um, is there anything else that we're looking to try to shop for? Or no? Just... Like, anything that has, like, London exclusive. Yeah. We're just... We're which I don't know what that is. I'm going to look that up when I get off here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look up just more... And I should have done this, like, <laughs> two days ago. Five, five days ago. But I'm going to look up, like, London UK exclusive stuff. And just see what goes on with that. And maybe we'll go hunting for that. What are we doing tomorrow? Do you know? Well, Friday we're doing the... Portobello Road Market mm -hmm. and, and Notting Hill, and so we're spending like the day in Notting Hill. So tomorrow, don't know, pro maybe, probably go to see a musical, and then we got to find another place to visit that we haven't seen that we yeah. need to go to. Well, we don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but. Yeah, that, it's been pretty fun so far, and we'll see what else we get into, but today was like, I felt like it was exhausting, but we got a lot of stuff done that I feel like you want to check off if you go to London, like Buckingham Palace, Oops. you want to go to Westminster Abbey, you want to see that Big stuff, ben. Big Ben, we saw and we got pictures of and stuff, you know. We still need to walk across the thing. The bridge? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway... That's it for me today. I'm gonna go and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but another great day.
Okay, y'all, it's me again, and I'm here with a haul from today. So, I don't even know where we were. We went over to Mayfair area, and um, we were all around. We went back up to Soho somehow. We were everywhere. Shop. It was basically like a shopping day or whatever. So, first of all, first place that we went was this place highly recommended. Everybody was there. It's called Daunt Books. It's gorgeous. And when you get to about 40 pounds, they give you a free complimentary bag, which is pretty sweet. So let me just show you this because it's like at the top of my bag. I guys, I got another pair of shoes, but they were only 14 pounds from Primark. So Primark is pretty much like a Forever 21, I would say. It's just good prices. It's literally Forever 21. Like exa it's exactly that. It's just good prices on stuff. But look at these. Come on. I had to get those. Like... I had to get those. They look like Nike Dunks. They had a lot of like Nike Dunk looking shoes, but I liked this tan color and I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get all this, these shoes home, but 14 pounds for that. That's really cheap. So I got that. Let me show you what I got at the bookstore because that's the most important. So I got this book called Pocket, the po well, The Queen Pocket Wisdom. And I just thought it was too cute. It was only 10 pounds. So let's just turn to a page, right? Um, here's one. This is the queen on life. When life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat. Instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. Here's another one. Let us, let us not take ourselves too seriously. None of us has a monopoly on wisdom, and we must always be ready to listen and respect other people's, other points of view. So, reading some pocket wisdom. I got this for Jarvis. I thought this was kind of funny and it was like, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Don'ts for husbands. So, let me give you an example. Um, don't hesitate to mention that the fact when you think your wife looks especially nice, your thinking so can give her no pleasure unless you tell your thoughts. That's true. What? It says, don't, he so this is the do's, the don'ts mm -hmm. for husbands. Don't hesitate to mention the fact when you think your wife looks especially nice. Your thinking so can give her no pleasure unless you tell your thought. Ooh. That's true. So true. Don't forget your wife's birthday. Even if she doesn't want the whole world to know her age, she doesn't like you to forget. This is like, how sad is this that this is like so true? So and, true. and like so many people, my husband included, needs to be reminded. Mm -hmm. Don't think that because you can't afford to buy an expensive present, it is best to take no notice at all. The smallest gift will be appreciated if prompted by love. I'm so glad I bought this. That was the best money spent today. <laughs> okay, final thing I got, and I was very excited about this, and I still am. And I have never seen these books in person at any bookstore, so I felt like that was enough for me to get them. Plus, it was, it was 25 pounds, which I feel like is pretty good. So I got The Lord of the Rings, but it's all three books in one. Guys, come on, look at that. Okay, final thing that I got today is from Barber. Can you look that up and see if it's English? Barber, uh, please let it be English. Um, I don't know if this is English or not. I'm it's like everywhere. That. Okay, so I bought a perfume for her and we sprayed this on ourselves and we loved it. Oh god, that is a good perfume. It's pretty good, guys. So this is what it looks like. And I feel like it was a good purchase. It was 50 pounds, which, okay, look. Like, I did I really, it was kind of a, I don't know. It was kind of a, like, quick decision. But we sprayed it on ourselves at the checkout while my mom was buying something else. And I was like, oh. There we go. I feel like it's a good idea to get perfume ah, on a trip. Made in England. Made in England, guys. Thank God. I just, oh, I just sprayed way too much. <laughs> this looks pretty cute. I don't know if that smells British the same. Com British mm -hmm. company headquartered in South Shields, England. Yeah, so I did get perfume. It's very exciting, you know, just to remind me of the trip. And this is, I feel like we were talking about this at afternoon tea mm -hmm. but we i feel like this is for me at least i don't know about my mom this is a trip of a lifetime mm -hmm. it's crazy that i never cared to go here before i'm loving it i'm loving every minute of it it's really i'm having some some fun here so 
Anyway, um, the other thing I was going to say. Oh, uh, what? Did you tell him we went to Fortnum and Mason Tea and it's like the coolest place for tea stuff? Oh, well, we went to, what is it called? Fortnum? Fortnum and Mason. We went there for afternoon tea and it was, I would say the food was better at Fortnum and Mason. And it was probably like more fancy. It is. Also, and we showed up with like no reservation. <laughs> Yes. But it was really nice and the department store is really nice too. Oh my god. If I if I had all the money in the world, I would buy every tea set there and just have a tea set for every day of my life. I'm going home and I'm doing afternoon tea. Just wait for me, okay? It's gonna I'm gonna make it like a really annoying feature of my personality. Mm -hmm. So anybody if you wanna come over, maybe I'll raffle off tickets to do afternoon tea at my house. Mm -hmm. Meet and great secret sessions with me. Anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty sad. Mm -hmm. Um we love, I mean, we loved it. That's our favorite thing to do, I think. Oh, yeah. It is. For sure. So, we loved that. So, that was at Fortnum and Mason. I feel like we could just spend a whole trip just going, hopping around at every different, mm -hmm. just doing one a day. They had such good desserts, and the sandwiches were pretty good, too. And the, and the tea was like good. it's, like, a historic. Yeah, it's like, a historic. They have a lot of, like, sort of their own exclusive department stores here mm -hmm. and it's like one of a kind it's really cool and, and it's very interesting i have to say this is the bougiest city i've ever been to it's like luxury shopping everywhere, everywhere. you go every street you turn on is more beautiful than the next gorgeous it's like i just have never seen anything like it everything is opulent beyond belief every store even like we went to for dinner we went to meat burger and it was like in this really nice area we're like wow so anyway we love that but the one thing i wanted to say today about london is just how easy the tube is mm. oh my god it's so much easier than even new york city it's new york I, I realize that new york needs to do a complete overhaul because it is so nice going on the tube and here's why because if you've ever been in new york and you've ever taken the subway there you go like you have to go onto a specific side of the street in order to get onto the right side of the train like that you want to go on to but this here, you just go into one station and then you like go towards, okay, I need to go to platform whatever, or I need to go to this platform, and then you can like go on that side. Like everybody goes in the same underground station. It's so easy and straightforward. All you have to do is know what platform it is, and then you go that way. So there's no like situation where you, you're like, oh, I'm on the wrong side of the tracks, so I need to go back up, walk, you know, 500 yards or whatever to the other station, go back down the stairs. It's all in one place. It's just so much more easy to digest. I feel like it's just, it's cleaner too. I don't know. I feel like it, it's, it's a much better oh, it's, experience. It's, yeah. It's awesome. It is awesome. So New York needs to get on it. Okay. Yeah. They need to get on it. And plus they like, it just smells better here. No, it does. It really does. I, I, I love it. So Anyway, we had another great day. Big surprise. And tomorrow we have a very exciting day. Mm -hmm. We're going to Portobello Road Market. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's like supposed to be amazing. And it's going to be a Friday, which it's supposed to come alive on Friday. So, oh, and another place that we went today to also was we went to two record stores looking for Taylor Swift CDs and records. And she had, everything was basically sold out. There was an original Fearless vinyl, but I'm like, eh. It wasn't like that great of a deal and it wasn't that rare so I'm like I don't even want to try to get that home in my suitcase without it breaking so that's it guys I will see you tomorrow that's my update um, I'm gonna go take my makeup off and it's like six o'clock right now <laughs> so <laughs>
Okay, doing my haul super quick. <laughs> Today we went to where? Portobello. Portobello Road Market and it was very large, but it's like an antique, it's mostly antique I would say, like thrifted, vintage finds. Mm -hmm. So we started at like a clothing place and it was pretty cool actually. There was a lot of just different vendors and it was all just, you know, a lot of Burberry, if you like Burberry, because I think that's like a British or English brand. So a lot of that, there's just a lot, there was a lot of things in there. So we stopped through there and then, you know, you walk up and down the street and there's just all these different vendors. There was a cool book place that had a lot of vintage books, but I just didn't want to spend that much on those books. But they had like vintage Hobbit and from like one of the, one of the earlier editions and I was like, oh my God. I want that. And they said they had more at home that they said they live pretty close, but they can't, like, they can't afford to leave. Did you hear her say that to me? No. She said they can't afford to, like, leave it there, obviously leave it out, mm -hmm. but they have one at home that they can, if somebody requested it, they would go and get it. But it's, like, worth $600. It's, like, a earliest Whoa. Hobbit. So, anyway, they had a ton of, like, Lord of the Rings, so then I'm like, oh, God, I just bought that at the bookstore. But whatever, I mean, as if like I'm not buying the first edition, it's like you're either first or your last. Like, what's the point then? <laughs> so, I don't know. 
So anyway, that was pretty cool. So there's a lot of different places that we went over to Notting Hill and well, it's in Notting Hill, I think, right? Yeah. But we went over to like the Notting Hill bookstore, which was cool. And it was actually really nice in there. And it was very similar to, the, I guess it was the one that inspired yes. the movie. So there was a lot of people outside of there. So that was cool. And then we didn't really find anything at the market, but everybody here wears scarves and Chelsea boots. It's pretty much like, if yep. you're not wearing it, you're not cool. So I wish I brought my Slytherin scarf, but <laughs> um, that was pretty fun. And then we ate at a place called Pharmacy, which was pretty good, except don't get what I got, which was the something burger, no beef burger. Oh my God, it was really horrible. They were known for it. And it he said good. it was the most popular thing. It was horrible. But we got nachos, which were good, and my mom got artichoke, artichoke pizza. Artichoke pizza? Oh my god. And it's good, and I'm actually gonna eat some here. Yeah. So that was good, and, and it's kind of like raw, it's almost not raw vegan, but it's like kind of like that, where it's healthy, natural ingredients type of, it's not like, it's fresh ingredients. So we did that, and then where did we go after that? We decided we wanted to just walk over the bridge. We still didn't walk over the bridge in London, right by like Big Ben and all that stuff. So thank God we did because it was just, I, I don't even know what to say besides Big Ben is so much more beautiful in person. Pictures don't do it justice. It almost brought me to tears. I'm not joking. It did. I was just in awe of all of that. So you have to see it once in your lifetime. So the London Eye, it was kind of sunnier in the later half of the day. So we got some good pictures over there, videos. We walked across that. We walked over like towards the Houses of Parliament and stuff like that, which is gorgeous. And then we went and finally got coffee, which I don't know why we got coffee at 4 p.m., but we got coffee at a Preda Manger, whatever it's called. And that's like, bait. that is, first one was in England. So... I was thinking it was like French or something, and it was actually first in England. So it was really good. I got a vanilla latte. It was very good with soy milk. So that was it, and then we walked home. So it was a great day. But when we were over by Big Ben, we were like, you know what? It's our last day here. This is my haul, guys. My XL hoodie. I love it. And this is probably the cutest one I've seen, honestly. So I wanted to get like an oversized something that said london you know like you gotta love a good crew neck so that's it it's got it on the sleeve over here too so yeah i will wear this proudly tomorrow okay proudly on the plane <laughs> so everyone knows where i just came from so that's pretty much it okay that is pretty much it and another great day and a great trip overall I gotta start packing because I have all that stuff over there. So, gotta go. I 